Okay, so let's go to the last one. Uh, the last meaning here. So can we read it together? Knowing what is right and using what you know to make smart choices. So the last word is? Wisdom. Okay, it will go over here. Um, so before moving to task number two, I want to revise the word we learned so far. Um, so as you can see here, um, you know, uh, there is some key words. All this will help you to uh, find the word. So if we read the meaning here, we can say the word same or almost the same. And if you see the word, it means you will go to similarities. Excellent. And here, when I see the word enough, when I say like enough for everyone, they're going to have plenty of something. When I have plenty of something, it will be enough for everyone. Okay. Now let's move here. Uh, remember, winning a game means victory means victory and finally here um you know to have the ability to make uh smart choices we call it wisdom and i want you to remember that again i'm going to say it again that our prophet muhammad وسلم, he was a wise man and uh, he was always making uh smart choices and helping people and guide them uh, now let's move to task number two. Okay, task number two. Let's read what's written over here. Okay, and then match it. So the meaning with the word. Here's the meaning and here's the word. And we're going to match them together. So let's read the first one. There are space of books to read at the library. So what is the answer? There are Plenty of books to Excellent. read at the library. There are plenty. Excellent. So let's move to number two. The team is proud of their in the game. The team is proud of their victory in the game. So as I said to you, victory means to win um, a game or whatever. So let's move to this one. Can you name... The between a frog and a toad. Can you name the wisdom of the between the frog and the toad? What do you think, everyone? Can we say wisdom? No. No, for sure no. So what is the word? Can you name the similarities between a frog and a toad? Excellent. This is the correct word. Now let's move to the last one. The man used his to figure out the problem. The man used his plenty to figure out the problem? No, I don't think so. The man used his wisdom to figure out the problem. So this is the correct answer. So... Uh, task or not, let me say the closure here we have two options but I want you to to choose option number two because it's um, it's good for you because you will use the vocabulary words that we learned so far and put them in uh, sentences so after completing your work upload the picture or a video of it on your class dojo portfolio please Thank you and have a nice day everyone.